Howdy peeps, Bitsu here, and welcome to the next installment of BitsuCraft. In today's episode, we are going to do some fine-tuning on the old fishing shack here. Yeah, I've got some ideas, I've got a plan, I want to get this thing actually working properly. Plus, I think it's about time we actually expand the storage on here. Alrighty, let's get to her! Well folks, if you'll remember, back in the day, like last time I was in here, I was having issues with this thing just not working properly. I had myself a uh, mending and unbreaking three fishing rod that had, uh, you know, luck of the sea and lure and all that crap on it. And uh, yeah, it broke, which shouldn't be possible in this kind of a setup. And I figured, oh, I probably just had some bad luck or something. So I did it again. I went through the whole rigmarole of making myself the perfect fishing rod again. Came back, same stinking thing. But I found out, I figured it out, that this guy, this this repeater, was set to the wrong timing. So I just came here and I tweaked it. I just, you know, I toggled it, fished for a while, watched my the health bar of my, well, can you call it a health bar if it's a tool? I don't know the <clears throat> health bar of my fishing rod and you no know, it was going down so I popped up here click this again and boom now it's set so that uh, my fishing rod actually heals itself rather than just slowly dying over here so I gave it a shot one overnight AFK fishing session later I've got 60 levels to my name Woo! that's pretty dang sweet uh, I cleared all the chaff out of here, but check that out. Over a stack of name tags. And I had like, oh, I don't know, like five or six stacks of fish, three or four of salmon, and at least three of puffer fish. Plus all kinds of other crap, you know, fish hooks and, and boots and crap like that. But check this out. Not this one. That's my, that's my actual bow. All of this junk... Well, not junk like there's some mending and some unbreaking and infinity and crap in there this is awesome plus this chest here but uh check out all these books got an efficiency another efficiency a mending another mending a fortune two lure and i think there's one more mending in here nope just the two mending books but still that's pretty dope and check these out unbreaking mending i've got enough here just out of these fishing rods without even having to touch a book or worry about enchantments to make at least one maybe two more perfect fishing rods and that isn't my fishing rod oh no i must have tossed it in here where is it oh no it's right here Durr. there we go i'm breaking three lure three luck of the sea three and mending this thing is awesome its current state right now this guy right here that's as low as its health bar. I got. Uh, I gotta come up with something different to call it than a health bar. That's as low as it ever gets in this rig now. So that that is pretty awesome. The only issue though is, what the hey? <laughs> I don't know if this got hit by lightning overnight or what. When I logged back on here, it was currently raining on my head because yeah part of our roof is missing so that's what i'm gonna take care of first because what the heck i ugh, i don't know that'll be plenty so let's just bloop oh no this isn't spruce this is dark oak oh well that will oh oops that's that's supposed to be a hole that's that's my skylight that's my there we go. There. It, uh... Well, from a distance, that might actually look kind of cool. It's nice to have a little bit of variation here and there, just to kind of help the world look a little bit more lived in. Because no nothing's perfect in the real world, hey? Everything's... Everything that's been around for any length of time is going to have a little bit of wear and tear. It's going to have maybe repairs on it that were done at a different age than the actual build so they look just a slightly little bit different yeah it's pretty it's pretty subtle yeah i'm gonna leave that oh what the hey and apparently there's some on this end too i must have already done that 
<laughs> oh, right, there was a big nasty creeper explosion out here once upon a time. Cool, cool. All right. Well, game plan for today is to dig out an area underneath here, make myself some kind of a basement to work in, and uh, link a bunch of these chests together with hoppers so that I can have like bulk storage for this guy. Because when I came back from my little AFK session, this was jam-packed full, my inventory was jam-packed full, and there was a pile of about, oh, I don't even know how many, like stacks and stacks of just superfluous crap just sitting here. There's a couple of books, there was a fishing rod, and there was like two or three stacks of each of the different kinds of fish just kind of hanging out here waiting to despawn. De so we're going to extend the storage down here and if I'm feeling ambitious I might, I just might, throw a little bit of redstone down there and maybe sort out a couple of the items. We could have the the fish going into specific chests, uh, maybe name tags, rotten flesh, and lily pads as well. I don't know if it'd be worthwhile for the lily pads, the ink sacks, and the leather because they they don't really show up too often fishing. They I guess they can just go into the same same chests as all the you know books, enchanted stuff, and miscellaneous crap. Alrighty. Uh, I'm gonna get started. Hmm, this is gonna be tricky because there's redstone kind of everywhere already. Oh, there's... What was this hopper for? I don't remember now. That hopper must lead... Huh. Well, that turns off and on the... Oh, this thing is probably full of weird, stupid crap too, isn't it? Yep, boots, bows... Ink sacks. Oh, man. Okay, I better clean that system out, too. <laughs> Eep. Okay. Nope. I'll do it in the morning. Cusnor. Alrighty. Let's go collect up all the whoops, crap out of that system there. And, oh, yeah, duh. That's what that hopper is. That's the that's the timer for the, the uh, system that spits out the fishing rods there. A doy. Now, I'm probably not even going to have enough room in my inventory to collect all this junk, but we can just throw it all in this chest, I guess. Na, 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 na. Okay, this is going to take a bit, so I'm not going to bore you with it. I'm going to just gather all the junk out of this system, and then I'll get started on digging out the basement. Cool, cool. See you guys in a tick. Well, the way I figure it, I'm probably going to want to keep this area here for crafting and sleeping and just have a spot where I can take a little bit of a kip. So I'm going to dig out down this direction and it's, do I, oh, I don't have any torches on me. Nuts. And it's probably not such a bad idea to actually have access to the mechanism down here just in case anything ever goes wrong or next time it's just loaded full of crap rather than standing there like a derp waiting for it all to spit in my face. I can just come down here and grab it out of hoppers and junk. Huh. But now, as far as the system is concerned, let's see. I think, yeah, this is it right here. Those are the ones that grab it, come and bring it down, and that's what spits it up into that chest. Because, where is it? Uh, oh no, that's, that's where the fishing rods go. Okay, so... Huh, I guess the bit for the uh, actual fishing drops, yeah, it's just right here and goes straight into the chest. Well, that's that's simple. Durr, I forgot about that. Okay, so in order to tie into that, we're going to have to dig underneath. Hmm, it'll be like that guy. Okay, let's see. Where is that underneath here? Right here. Okay, that's 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 doable. Pull straight out of the chest, and we can go. Well, let's put this guy back. Um, hmm. If well, if we go out this direction, we're probably going to end up in water. So we'll have to go back this way, which is convenient because check this out. This I think I must have been like a creeper explosion or something, or I don't know what. Maybe I just found a natural little pocket of air down here while I was digging 
and I just threw some torches up rather than filling it because I was pretty low on dirt back in the day. Hmm. Yeah, so... If we're coming down right here... I guess, yeah, let's just dig out straight this way a little bit. And... then what? Hmm. Well, I'm gonna make myself a quick shovel. And... Then I'll, I'll have to consider this. I'm not... Hmm. Ah! Let's just clear out a big old space, and then and then I can figure out exactly how I want it to do what. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright, peeps, I'm going to do something stupid here. Uh, I figure if I'm going to bother with this, I might as well go all the way out. So I am going to put a filter down here, and I'm going to have it actually filter out each and every one of the different items that you can actually get from fishing. Well, as much as I can, anyway. Won't be able to sort the bows, books, fishing rods, and boots, because they'll have different enchantments and different uh, durability levels and crap like that on them. But everything else, I'm going to have... Ugh. So it's going to be huge. Uh, there's going to be 17 different filterable items, so... Yeah, I'm not exactly sure <laughs> exactly what I'm planning on doing with each of them. But I'm going to, I guess, since we're having it uh, come down right meow, I'll just have it come straight along here. And then in this area, I'll set up my filter. And so this has to, <laughs> this is going to end up having to be 17 long. Eep. Then once, of the, uh, once each of the items is filtered out, I'm going to have it transfer from the filter into deep storage along this wall. And I think figure I'm going to have maybe two or three chests of each item, which is ridiculous. That's way more than I actually need, but that's fine by me. And set them up so that uh, once they are full, uh, any of the overflow will just go straight into a disposal. Then at the end, the last chest, which I'll probably put at this end actually, I'll have it start at the far end and work its way this way. Uh, that'll be the chest that has the bows, books, and fishing rods, and and leather boots, and all the crap that can't be filtered. And I'll have it set up so I can go through it manually, and I'll just pick out all the good stuff. And then once it is, once I've got all the good stuff picked out, I can like flick a switch or hit a button or something and have it all drain into the disposal as well. Cool beans. All right, so this is going to take a little bit of digging. So I'll get this. Uh, I'll get this hammered out. And I think. I think four deep is enough for the filter system, but I might as well take it down one more, just to be good and dang sure. Okay, and I'm going to have to take this back at least 17. So let's maybe go 20 blocks, just so we've got some room to work with. And I'll get that space cleared out, and I'll get back to you. Okay, nice big workspace cleared out. Now, let's see, there's my input line, so let's just mark that off. Bloop. Okay, now the way these filters work, we're going to need... Okay, so that's a hopper, then a hopper, then a hopper, then the chest, and then back from it, it needs to go three, then down... Okay, one, two... Mm. What if I go back this direction instead? Yeah, I could have all the redstone workings and crap kind of down the center and then access the filters along from the outer side and then my deep storage along here. Okay, let's try that. Okay, so it goes back one, two, three, then down one. And that'll be the filter system. Okay, okay. Let's, uh, let's just mark that off so we can know exactly how much space we got. Okay, we're, there's 17 items. There's one. Oh, perfect. It's just big enough for 17. Okay, sweet. Um, yeah, that would be my row of chests. So that's the hopper that would be the filter. Yeah, that's accessible from right here. That's perfect. Okay, cool. 
let's just fill this in so we know what we're working around. Uh, I'm going to leave this one open so we can actually access it to get the redstone down in there. I just want to kind of roughly get the whole mess in place first so I can kind of figure out what the heck I'm doing. Cool. Okay, so if that's, that's our feed line, that's our hopper chain, that's the filter, that's the hopper that leads into the chest, that's the chest, so our output would be directly underneath it. So to get from our output to our bulk storage, we're... Well, we can't go beside because these are crammed together. We can't go above because that'll be a line. So I guess we have to go below. All right, let's clear out a big space underneath then and figure out, hmm, figure out what kind of a delivery system we're gonna have to use to get this over there. Yeah, it'll have to be right here because, well, what was it again? Hopper, filter. Hopper, chest, output. So it could be right at this height. No, because then it would be drawing. Oh, this isn't part of it. That's just my junk chest. Okay. So right here. At this height, we can come through. Okay. So then what? It'd be nice to have an item elevator. And then have like three or four chests stacked on top of each other. Hmm. 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 Well, let's just clear out some space back here so we've got some room to work with before I figure out exactly how it's gonna work. Uh, probably gonna want it to be yeah roughly around this space so I'm just gonna take this back another maybe two blocks all the way around. Not all the way around, but just uh, just down the side here. And probably this guy too. What the hey. Just to give myself some space. And then I'll see if I can't come up with some sort of a, uh, a hopper elevator that is tileable. I don't know if I've ever seen one of those before. Ugh, this might not be possible, but we're going give it, to give it a try. If need be, I can always just make a big old mess of crap that's extended out past this behind it and uh, have them kind of staggered. So if they're not exactly tileable, I can have, you know, one up slightly and one down slightly so that I can actually squeeze them into the tighter space. Okay. Alrighty, peeps. I have been working on the mass storage system here making it tileable in a creative world because I was it was a head scratcher and uh, the biggest problem is you know sure having it feed into this bottom elevator and having it go up is easy peasy you can just run the signal into a clock and then bring it back and boop 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 that fires all of these except for the bottom one getting that signal down to the bottom Boop. So it'll actually come out of this dispenser into the one above it. Ugh, and making it tileable is like ridiculously huge and expensive. Look how jimongous this bloody thing is. I'm sure there's got to be a way to make this a lot easier and like cheaper than what I've done, but this is the best I could come up with. Oh, oy vey. So yeah, once this is full, the comparator sees it, it turns off this torch, it starts up the clock, which then is compared, which then will turn off this torch, which boop, 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 torch tower all the way up, and just fires the signal straight across, which will fire these, which in turn will trigger the ones above and below. But then off in this direction, that same torch, when it goes off and on will power alternating this guy which do 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 which gets then compared to reverse it back this direction which toggles this torch off and on powering this block powering the bottom one oi it's blech blech this is this is going to be expensive especially since there's 17 of them oh my goodness and they have to in order to not have the signal connect and do both sides at the same time or just not work at all I'm gonna have to alternate between 
redstone dust and repeaters. So this is going to be redonkulously expensive. So I'm just going to quick do some math, figure out exactly how many resources I'm going to need in order to get this sucker put together the way I'd like it. But once that's all said and done, it should, should, once it's all... Oh man, I should double check to make sure that when this dispenser fires and it comes up here, it immediately goes into this hopper and there's no chance of it going to the one beside it. Err. Yep, I'm going to do a test run. Okay, so this chest here we will fill with coarse dirt. Why not? And this chest here we'll put redstone lamps and granite in. Okay, so err, is it looks like everything's working yeah both sides are firing all the way up to the tippity top are they oh duh i forgot to do this part that very top one's not going to be firing um crap okay reset they're going to be bunged up here somewhere there we go bloop Ech, I'll let this finish up. I'll gather everything and I'll do another retest. See you in a tick. Okay, I've made sure that absolutely everything in the system is empty. There's these bottom chests, yeah, they're done. Okay, so if we fill this guy with granite, stand back. Is only that side firing? Yes, it is. Okay, sweet. And if we shove our redstone lamps and our coarse dirt in here, we should be getting, what is in there? Granite, yep. All our granite should be coming down into this guy here. Woo! And this guy should be redstone lamps. Beautiful, okay, it's working. It works, it's just massive. My goodness, okay. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. Oh, oh, how far out does this need to be? Let's see, one. Oh, let's have an air gap behind it so we can access it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen deep before the back of the chests. Oh my god. Okay, this this is massive. Well, uh, I'm gonna dig out that hole first and then I'll come back here and I will do some math and figure out exactly how many of these different parts I'm going to need. And then, then I think I'm going to have to do some serious mining. I doubt I've got enough redstone to actually build this stupid thing. Durr. Or of course, observer blocks are a thing. That way I shave like five blocks off of the end of the thing. It's all identical. So it's perfectly tileable and it works exactly the same way. Um, yeah, the only real difference here is, uh, let's see, yeah, instead of alternating between, what was it now? It was total eight repeaters for two rows, and it turns out to be eight observer blocks for two rows. So that's about even. I'm just, just means I'm going to go through a little bit of nether quartz, but I can live with that. But check this out. It, uh, it works just as well. And it only clicks twice when it starts off, and then it's perfectly silent. Exactly the same way as it was working with, uh, with that big, ugly mess of crap at the end that I know I would screw up. So I think I'm going to go for this route instead. <sighs> okay, time to start building this thing. Oh, what the heck? Ugh. It seems now that every time I go AFK overnight, I get up to find something's gone horribly, horribly wrong. Ugh, looks like my bridge might have got hit by lightning. Great. <laughs> oh well, let's parkour across here. Yeah, just gotta go spend some time in the old bone tower there to uh, get my pickaxe mended up so I can finish up down there. Ugh. Yay. Oh well. Oh well. I'll I'll deal with that bridge after I'm finished this build because this project is kind of freaking massive as it is. Sigh. 
No. Mending is a beautiful thing, guys. The sufficiency five pickaxe is making short work of that giant hole I have to build under there. But we're just about toast, so time to do a little bit of grinding and get this thing mended back up and get back to her. I was almost finished though, so this is this isn't too bad. <sighs> but man, this is gonna take me all stinking day, I think. <laughs> er, back at her. There we go, guys. Whew. Now to do that 16 more times. <laughs> the thing is, though, the grind is real. Every single one of these needs to be a full stack. Oh, why is there wood in there? In order for me to get this accomplished. That's, that's redonkulous. So I'm going to have to do a lot of grinding. So, I have a feeling I'm probably not going to be able to get this finished in today's episode, so I might, uh, yeah. I might just call her quits right there. So, I'm going to say totally Pipsky. As always, if you like what you see, go ahead and smack that like button. If you want to see more, hit that round Bitsu icon to subscribe. Any comments, suggestions, or even if you just want to say hi, go ahead and leave some comments down below and I will see you in the next episode. 